Does anybody feel you are the man? How do we see people? And Jesus was the master of seeing people, not objects, not obstacles, not vehicles, but people, whoever he came in contact with. And so there's another scripture, scripture Matthew chapter 9, verse 35. We're not going to go there for time's sake. Um, it's right there. Okay, so let's go there. <laughs> let's go there. Thank you. I appreciate you, babe. You know me. Verse, verse 35, and Jesus went throughout all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every affliction. So Jesus goes and he's traveling from place to place, right? He's preaching the gospel. He's healing the people. But look at this, verse 36, when he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. When he saw, he didn't see a bunch of wild animals. He didn't see a bunch of, oh, they're not good enough for their economic, socio, none, none of that. He saw people. He saw people. And, and this is where Jesus wants us to be at. Luke chapter 5, verse, oh my gosh, 21 to 24. As we close out. Is this making sense to y'all? See, we're going to look at how do we short circuit that ladder of inference. Luke, that's not the right place. Where I meant to go, I wonder if it's, where I meant to go was um, where, Jairus, where Jairus comes and, uh, and asks that his daughter be healed. Jairus seeks out Jesus, right? Um, if anybody knows that or finds it, holler it out, and we can give that address. So Jairus comes to Jesus, and he's the leader of a synagogue, and he cries out to Jesus like, yo, my daughter, man, she's, she's on her deathbed, and, and, and the only way she'll be okay is if you come. And Jesus says, you know, he has compassion, and he goes with, he goes with Jairus, and he's on his way to the crib, and there's this huge crowd pressing around him, and then this woman this woman presses through the crowd and, and touches the hem of his garment, and she's made whole. And he stops like, oh, who touched me? And Jairus in his mind is like, I don't care. We got to get back to my daughter. She's sick, right? Everything else is an obstacle, an object, and Jesus is the vehicle to get me home, get my daughter right. And, and, and this woman touches him, and, and, and Jesus stops and acknowledges this woman. It says, yo, today, you're healed. You're healed. So Jesus, on his way to doing a miracle, does another miracle. But, but through all these people, he sees people. Now, yes. Thank you. Luke 841 was that last. Thank you, guys. So then again, Luke chapter 7, verse 36 to 50, we're not going to read, but just take that down for your notes. Luke chapter 7, verse 36 to 50, I do believe that's the right one. Here's a story where Jesus is in the house of Simon the Pharisee. He's in the house of Simon the Pharisee, and as they're sitting around and eating at table, in comes this woman, and she comes up, and she begins to cry on his feet and she breaks this alabaster box over his feet and begins to begins to wipe his feet with her hair right this woman and and the scripture says this is a woman of the city a sinner so then that means this woman was kind of well known maybe maybe she got around a little bit and Simon sits there and thinks if this man were really a prophet there's no way he would let her touch him, knowing who she is. He can't be a prophet. And, and, and Simon didn't say that. He just thought it. And Jesus answers. <laughs> it's so great. He answers his thought by telling him a story and saying, yo, to sum it all up, he who's forgiven much loves much. He who's forgiven little loves little. And he says, the whole time I was here, you didn't give me feet to wash up. 
You didn't take care of me. You didn't treat me hospitably. This woman, since I've been here, hasn't stopped crying on my feet, taking care of me. Like, how, how do you miss that? See, he doesn't see her as everybody else sees her, the woman on the street, the sinner. He sees her as a woman, as a person. And that's what, that's what God is calling us to.